didn't say that it's there. So what we have to do, we have to do the migration. And so what we do now is we follow the steps and I found that I have to set a point on there. So this is the base URL and then the SQL Express. Um, I'm saving this and now we do this one. We go to the package manager console and there we say uh, something with update, update database since their data is built started, built succeeded. <coughs> and now what we should see there is uh, we go now to our data set. Where is it? Uh, SQL Server Express. And there when we update it we should see there now our it was code doku de tables and now we have those asp net role claims roles user claims user logins users and that's the main uh, table what we need um, persistent grants this and device codes these are also new and user tokens so but this is the most important and when i start this now <coughs> And so uh, it showed how to run <coughs> the database into an existing database to inc uh, include it there. So now what we do there is when we go to fetch data, we will get the process login. Since there is no one, we will say, OK, uh, make um, either log in or register. So we say register as new uh, user. I would say here, this is my Raymond. And I would say something with my password and maybe the same password. Uh, let's say something, okay. Okay. And now when I register, I will come into my system. Now I'm registered. This app does not currently have a real uh, email sender. So this is without email confirmment. And, uh, but we don't need it. I will show you on, on another video how this works. Uh, and now I'm in there. I'm not sure if I have to log in a second time. Now I will log in. Okay. problem there. Now we have seen that the database uh, itself is working, but uh, the confirming of the uh, of the email doesn't work. And when we have a look now into our SQL server, and go into our users, then we will see that there is one uh, new data set. So this is when we click in this uh, stuff on view data. Now we will see there's one data set and this is my, um, that's my email with uh, which I have um, entered my, my data. But what you also see there, there is no, uh, you won't see the password here. So you see here a password hash, a security stamp, uh, but you don't, uh, the, the admin is not able to see the data there. And what we will do now, uh, we will confirm uh, the data. What we can do here manually, we would say, okay, uh, email confirmed. So when I say here, this is uh, true, go in there. Um, now the email, the email is confirmed. Um, and when I go to back to my data set and say, okay, now log in and uh, I'm logging in and you see a uh, system is corresponding, should go in there. Now it's logged in and these are, this is uh, my data set in there. 
and now also the fetch data will work. That's the fetching data. Since uh, this is um, locked by the controller, when you see the controller, there's the weather forecast controller, and there's one uh, one small stuff, this uh, attribute, which is called authorize. This is the API controller weather, uh, weather forecast uh, by its name. And then there's the authorize and authorize locks. Um, you're not able if you have no authorization, you will not log in, uh, be able to log in, in any data. And that's the reason why this is a great uh, solution.